Wanted to get started. We uh, last week was a smashing success, guys. Last week was we did a boot camp. It was pretty much free for all annuals and lifetime, and only ninety-seven dollars for everybody else. I mean, this is pretty much free. The reason we didn't do free is because if we did it free, no one's gonna value this, and you're gonna have trolls and all these guys. We want just serious traders. You don't need to be rich, guys. You don't need to pay us tens of thousands of dollars like some of these other guys want to do. We, Alex and I, make enough money trading. I've made a lot of money before even starting MIC, so money is not really my motivation to doing this stuff. Seriously, if we wanted money, we would not just charge $97. <laughs> we, I would not be walking around. Alex would not be walking around doing free meetups, things like that. Um, we did a boot camp, she went through everything. So guys, I attended the boot camp last week. Can you just type here and tell everybody um, how that boot camp was? Just to let everybody know. We did two boot camps actually, one for everybody and one for lifetimes only. So they got to see us trade live. And we were fortunate actually that the markets were slow enough where you no, know, we, we it didn't go smooth. There, we were down on some positions showing people how we were able to you know get out of those positions and mitigate the risk and all that stuff you now trading like an hour a couple of hours made 2500 bucks trading super tiny size but the money is not the point the point is to show you the process how to mitigate the risk and to show you what real trading is guys real tra trading and it was smooth it was just like i would say it was easy nothing's ever easy it is simple, guys. Trading is simple. We simplified it down to a bunch of processes and rule proprietary to MIC. Other guys have been copying us now. We were the only ones that talked about process for all these years. Now everyone's talking about process. Everyone's talking about zombie. Everyone's talking about all this stuff. So, I mean, eventually everyone's going to learn. But the key is this, guys. You know, we've been doing this for a long time. And as we demonstrated during the live trading, it's pretty boring. I mean, it was pretty damn boring. Trading is boring because it's systematic, it's robotic, it's repeatable. But I guess when you... <laughs> it's not even about the money. That's, that's, that's the thing I guess you guys will understand when you guys will get there. Which you guys... I know you guys will get there if you guys follow the process to the point where... <laughs> where, you know, man, it becomes so boring. And it's not about the making the money anymore. We can wake up and make money every day, knock on wood. We follow the process, and when we lose, the process, the risk management keeps us keeps us safe. And as you saw, I'm just trading like 1,500 size. I mean, making two thousand dollars a day, guys, is half a million a year. That's nothing to laugh at. And that's why I want to emphasize right now: all these guys are trying to show how big their penis is. But you know what, man? It doesn't fucking matter if your penis doesn't fucking work, right? You can have a giant penis, but it doesn't fucking work. You know, I'd rather have a small penis, but it's consistent. <laughs> it's consistent. And it works every fucking day, every time. And I can teach people how to do it. You know, because not everybody's going to be a porn star. Not everybody's going to make $100,000 a day. Not everybody can do that. But you know what? I can guarantee that you can do, guys. I can guarantee you, if you work hard, study hard, you can make 100 bucks a day, $200 a day. You cannot make $1,000 a day consistently unless you can learn to make $100 a day. Okay? And that's the secret that a lot of people do not understand. I didn't come and start making millions of dollars. Alex didn't do that. We started by working at Starbucks. We started by fucking being happy making $20. When I started to learn how to make $20, I was like, holy fuck. Then I started making $300. The moment I made $300, I was like, holy crap. What the hell is going on? I used to work my butt off for $300 a week. How, many you got, how much are you guys making a week, right? A normal person's making how much a week? $500 a week? And so to be able to make two hundred dollars sitting in, sitting around the house, clicking a button one hour a day, you know that's a lot of money. That's life changing money. And this is why I want to tell the whole entire world, guys. That's what we launched MSC. It's not about making a million dollars. You don't need a million dollars to change your life. You know it starts with supplemental income, hundred dollars a day. Imagine a hundred or two hundred dollars a day. That's a win for life. You remember those win for life scratcher tickets, guys? They're making $2,000 a week. And that's what people are buying those lottery tickets for. The win for life. That's $2,000 a week. You know what that comes down to? 
$400 a day. You know what $400 a day is? So, you know, this is a good example. Last week was like, oh, someone's like, oh, $400, that's crap. I made crap today. I made $400. I'm like, dude, $400 a day. What, what is that a year? That's $100,000 a year. It's not crap. So when you start to look at $400 a day and think it's crap, that's where gambling comes in. That's where people start to lose because they're pushing. They're like, they're not happy with 400. And then when they start making a thousand, not happy with a thousand, they want 5,000. When they make five, they want 10. They want 10, they want 100,000. And that's what happens, guys. You can get there, but it's a leveling up. You need the bankroll, you need the experience. And this is what no one freaking teaches you. These guys, I'm the guy that coined through a long time ago, a big guru. These guys are pumping out big numbers, but is anybody else making those big numbers? My whole point of starting an educational service is not to, to boost my ego. I don't need it. I've already been there, done that. You know how it boosts my ego? By training people like Danny, like James, like Tom, like Faye, like whoever, like Alex, whoever, to be able to do that as well. I base my success not on how much money I make, guys, but on the success of our members. And as you see, I think we are the best community. Not because of our million dollar days and shit like that. It's because of the fact that students are actually learning, guys. They are learning. We are the only ones with tons of testimonials. The only ones hating on us or other, or other chat rooms who are paying trolls. They're trolling us. They're calling us fraud. I'm like, what the fuck are we a fraud about? I mean, we're the only ones that are going in public. If I was a fraud, you would hear it. You would hear testimonials from everybody. You know, that's the, that's the thing that, so, so, so those are the days that kind of gets me down. It gets me down in the sense of, <clears throat> we work so damn hard and we're too honest. Maybe the world's not ready for honesty, but I, I rather, I always say this to everybody. I rather eat, I, I rather fucking, uh, hold on, let me get past this guy. It's pretty loud. So you imagine, you imagine if I tell that guy that he can make $200 in one hour clicking a button. Don't you think that his life will change? I mean, that's the thing that we, sometimes we get too, too spoiled in life, guys. We rather sit around and collect unemployment checks than to go out and work hard. But people don't understand. In order for you to make $1,000 a day, you need to learn how to make $100 a day consistently. And that's what we're trying to teach you guys. And those that want to take shortcuts are not worth it. I, I don't want to help those kind of people. And that's why we, we, we actually, we turn down a lot of people. People that are lazy, people want to do this shortcut. That's why we don't do alerts and all that stuff. It's, it's, it's hard work, guys. I'm not going to lie. It is hard work. Are you willing to put in a couple months of hard work to make this kind of money? <laughs> Where else can you do this, guys? Doctors, lawyers, how many years of education, how much millions in tuition fees you have to pay? If those guys are going through 12 years of education and we're making more money than them with less risk, well, they're risking their life right now with Corona, right? With less stress, they're stressed out with less hours in. Like Alex today, today was a very slow day, super slow, but Alex still squeezed out 3,500 bucks. That is what I used to make an entire month, working one hour, actually less, how much, like half an hour, Alex? The point is he stuck to the process, you know, it's, it's, you follow the process and that's what it leads you to. Now, of course, Alex has been doing this for a while now, but he's still not doing that long, guys. He's still, he's still only been doing this for a few years. If he went to medical school, he still would not be doing, we would still not be a doctor right now. So all these guys are too lazy to study for a month. I just don't get it. You wanna make doctor wages, but you're not willing to put in a week of work. You're not willing to watch a video. So I'm telling you what the secret to life is, guys. So there's a quote I love. The quote is, hard work beats talent when talent does not work hard. Hard work beats talent when talent does not work. Do you know how you can overcome your lack of talent? So let's say you're born, but you're not gifted in terms of athletics. You know, but then someone else born with very very good gifts. They're tall. They're strong. They're quick. But then they don't put in the work. The equalizer in life is hard work, guys. So don't think you have to be the smartest. 
You don't have to be the smartest or the richest to do this, guys. Hard work. I am an example. Alex is an example. I was working at Starbucks. I came on a freaking boat as an immigrant. My family didn't speak English, all this. So, so when I'm looking at these guys boasting all this stuff, it's the more they brag, the more you, you should realize that they're fake. And you know what, man? If anybody says this is easy peasy, squeezy, lemon, whatever the fuck it is, I hate that, man. Trading is not easy, guys. It's never easy. But it's simple. You know, it's very simple. If you keep to the basics, all the process is simple. Okay? And so what's gonna happen now is this, guys. So which leads me to this Instagram live I'm talking about, right? The market's been crazy. You know why it's been crazy? Everybody's at home for the past half a year. Trump gave out a stimulus. Trump made it rich for people to be unemployed and still get 5,000 a month. My friends were making almost 5,000 a month being unemployed. And they gave $2,400 stimulus checks for him and his, his wife. I mean, that's a shitload of fucking money, guys. That's a shitload of money. And they have low housing on that. They do. You're, you're collecting 5000 a month. You got $24 checks. So where do you think that's going to go? To stock market. That's why everyone's opening up a Robin Hood account. So in the past six months, everyone's gambling like Robin Hood. They're buying, buy, buy, buy. And, you know, they're very lucky. Stock market goes up because of the Fed. The Federal Reserve, thanks to Donald Trump, because they want to be reelected, has been pumping money into the stock market. If you think about it rationally, right? The economy has been shut down for half a year. No one's buying shit. No one's going out. How the fuck? How the hell is the stock market at all-time highs? How is the stock market at all-time highs if the economy has been put on pause for six months? Small business going broke. People can't even go to dinner. They have to fucking order DoorDash. I, who has taken a vacation? How the hell are these companies not bankrupt? That's because the Fed is injecting money in to keep the, keep the economy up. Imagine the economy tanks. Donald Trump would not be reelected. He would not be reelected. I'm not talking about politics or anything. You know, I don't care who you vote for. That's not my point. That's not my point here. My point being is we are in a very special time where the market is not going down. It's because trillions of dollars have been put into. So take a look at Apple, dude. The Federal Reserve, for the first time, can buy individual stocks, guys. They're buying Apple bonds. That's why Apple keeps going up. Okay? Apple fucking doubled almost since the pandemic. Who the fuck bought a new iPhone? Did you buy a new iPhone? I didn't buy a new iPhone. I can't even go into an Apple store. It's closed. Who the fuck is buying a new iPad? How the fuck are these companies going up? It's artificial. So, if you made money during this time, be blessed. You do not want to lose it back. This is the most important time right now for you to preserve what you made. I'm not going to say it's dumb luck. You know why it's not dumb luck? Because you had the vision. You had the, the balls, the courage to go buy the stock. So it's not dumb luck. You went out and made it happen. You took advantage of the system and it worked. So I'm not going to call it dumb luck. What I'm going to call it is this. You, you just got... It was fortunate, but you know what? The markets change. Now the markets slow down. Okay? You're going to see soon that buying a stock, oh shit, the stock doesn't keep going up forever. Oh crap, the stock's going down. Oh crap. And if you keep adding to a loser, you will go bankrupt. Before, since the market kept on going up, if I'm down, I just keep buying. I'll keep buying because tomorrow's going to go higher. You know? Look at Tesla. <laughs> Holy fuck. So, the point is this, guys. Being educated goes a long way because what happens is the uneducated people may get a lot of luck or fortunate because of the situation, right? Like the crypto guys. They did, the people that didn't sell at 20,000, it went all the way back down to 6,000. You know, everything, everything, you know, eventually goes back to the norm. So I always look at myself like this, man. If I make money, I have to figure out why I made money. If I do not understand why I made money, that's when I'm going to start losing. Because I think, because I made all this money because I'm skillful. Are you really skillful or are you just fortunate to be in there? So like when I go to blackjack table, I put all my money and I got a blackjack. Bullshit, this game's easy. Is that skill or luck? 
it's partially luck and also skill in the sense that you have the balls to bet. But you're not going to get blackjack every time, guys. That's the danger of gambling. When you are uneducated, trading becomes gambling. And with a gambler, you can become rich being gambling, right? You, people, people make $100,000 playing blackjack. But then if you go back to the casino a hundred more times, I guarantee you they will get their money back. Not even need a hundred. The second time, they'll probably get their money back. Same thing with trading, guys. So, what do you do? You need to learn why you made that money. If you do not understand why you made that money, and I guarantee you, not because you know what the fuck you're doing. You do not know what the fuck you're doing. A guy that knows what the fuck they're doing would never say they didn't know what they're doing. You know? A guy that knows what they're doing would never say it's easy. It's never easy. It's still hard to this day for me. But... I still get fearful, but I know the process. I trust my process, I trust my team, I trust what I've been doing, and that's what happens. So, guys, so I'm gonna announce something that's we've never done before. I see a lot of these guys out there pumping these cheap ass rooms because they need you as sheep. You're joining their, because you're buying everything they chase. They're not teaching you shit. So what we did this week was this. So yesterday, Alex went on live so every Monday, it actually goes on I, I, um, YouTube Live. So he, he, he gave the... So we never really gave a sell on monthlies because we're like, dude, I, you know, we, we don't want to be like those other guys. But when I saw these other guys take advantage, I'm like, dude, man, Alex, why don't we let people try for a month? So Alex yesterday opened up the 25 slots and I'm going to open that same, okay? For the first... Well, not many people are watching mine. So first 15 people, text Tosh. They can get in for the first month of MIC for $97, guys. Text 97 to Tosh. Because you know what, man? You had a good run. The market is now very difficult. I guarantee you right now. Stocks are not going up the way they are. Small caps, there's no volume today. That's the norm of trading. We got very blessed because, because of the COVID. And so what you're going to do is this. Take advantage. You made money. Fucking use that money to educate yourself. Don't just use that money to think you're the best. How can you do anything in life within a short time span and think you're an expert? If, if stock trading was easy, everybody would be a billionaire. But we're not a billionaire because it's not easy. People get fortunate or luck, but then their luck runs out. Market conditions change and they do not know how to adapt. And if you're going to keep ch doing what you're doing, you're going to lose. Like today, VVPR. Go to my Twitter. Take a look at look at look at that stock, VVPR. That was the one that got pumped. Um, SGLB. That's one Alex made money on. He found locate. I couldn't find a locate on that one, but but you see, SGPL. That dumb guy pumped all that crap down. Everybody lost their ass because back a month ago that stock would have went to like twenty dollars, but we're not a month ago. We are the new thing. Everything works for a little while, guys. Then, then it doesn't work anymore. Then people take advantage of the situation. They learn how to, they how to take advantage of it, right? You know, the first time something opens up, it's oh awesome. That's, and then at, over time, people get used to it. So that's what it is. So now, let me read some of these comments here. So, so we're gonna open up for the first twenty person or so. Text Tosh. I want to price. We're gonna price it down to ninety-seven the first month, just so you can see. And, if, and to be honest, if you can't afford ninety-seven bucks, or if you're too cheap to, you you might as well just quit trading and just go to the casino. Seriously, if if if, if you wanted to learn to trade, but you're not willing to just put in ninety-seven dollars, I don't know what to tell you. It means that trading is not your passion. It's, so the reason we do this is to eliminate the get rich quick mentality. I have guys coming in. The first thing they say is. Oh my god, I thought you could give alerts. What the hell am I supposed to trade? I'm like, dude, don't you want to learn how to do this shit yourself? <laughs> Some people don't. To be honest, it's completely fine. Most people in the world do not want to learn. They would rather be given a handout. They would rather be given a stimulus. They would rather be given an unemployment check. But those people are not the ones that's going to be the top 1%. Do you want to be the top 1%? Fuck, I just want to be the top 10%. Or hell, I just want to make an extra $100 a day. If you want mediocrity, if you want a free handout, 
this trading is not for you guys, seriously. Because what's going to happen is this. You're going to, you are going to enter and those are, you are the ones I'm taking the money from. Who is buying these stocks at the high that I am shorting? Who's buying SGLB at the high that Alex shorted today? It's those guys that wanted a handout that would chase an alert. So that guy hits a buy button, Alex hits a sell button. The guy basically sold his sh he Alex took his shares, and now the guy's stuck. And the moment that guy's down a dollar a point, he goes, I can't take it anymore. I just lost my rent money. Sell. Alex goes, cover. So but what basically happened was transfer of funds from the uneducated, lazy gambler to Alex, the educated guy. So whatever Alex made today, guys, some poor sucker just lost. So Alex made $3,500 today. That's someone's fucking mortgage that they refused to learn. They bought the top. They did not learn what he's doing. Alex just put it in his pocket. And this year, Alex is going to put a million dollars already in his pocket. That's the honest truth, guys. That's the fucking honest truth. Education is the reason why all these guys become rich. I'm not even talking about formal education. I went to college. College is very difficult because you have to have capital. Who the hell has $100,000 just to go to school and don't have a guaranteed job? How many people went to college? Oh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. You don't have a job. Working at Starbucks right now, right? So this is kind of like the new alternative education. Fucking $97. Where can you go to school to learn $97? So Faye joined. The reason I like to talk Faye, because Faye, Faye, Faye is very typical. You know, she works hard. She's an immigrant. She has a full-time job. You know, she's a female. And I love showing her the example because, you know what, man? Don't think of yourself as male, female, unintelligent. English speaker, whatever. It doesn't matter. Trading is... The only thing you need about trading, guys, is not intelligence, not that. It helps, of course. It's hard work, becoming humble, having a passion, and following the rules. We can teach you. We can teach you to become a consistent trader. But what we cannot teach you is to control yourself. If I tell you to short at $2, and if you're wrong, cover at $2.20, and you do not go by that, and you you enter a dollar fifty because you have FOMO, and then you never stop out until you went broke. That's not our fault. And so that's what that's that's why we have the training community. We all help each other. And I am I am the most undisciplined guy, guys. I have Alex to help me. You know all that stuff. So we we, we work together thing. And I think females make a great better trader. They do not have the ego that many men have. You know, many men do not want to ask for help. Faye was like, holy crap, let me let me learn from this person. And I look at her now, right? She's making more money within a few months at, at trading than her job. I don't want to say that, I'm jinx her, but the point is this. You do not need to become a full-time trader, okay? I, per, I prefer, and I always advise people, do not quit your job because having a job is stability. You only need to trade an hour a day, guys, because there's, there are setups. There are times that that is optimal to train. Look at me, I'm walking around during this time. During this time, I start to lose money. Alex trades an hour a day, then he helps members at MIC. And so, so the whole thing is, we are the only ones that tell you to supplement your income. Everyone is selling you the bullshit dream of driving a Lambo, being a full-time trader. I mean, fuck, dude. You want, you want a full-time trader? That's us, dude, walking around in our underwear and shit like that. You know, I want to get a job, but that's just not me. I worked a corporate job for 10 years. And I got successful because I was doing both. Okay? I was, I was making money trading. I was making money in my day job. And the only reason I quit is when, I call it opportunity cost, when I started to, to, to lose the opportunity to make more money. Meaning, oh fuck, I had a meeting. But this meeting would have cost me more money. If I, it would cost me more money because if I had traded, I would have made like 10 grand, right? That's the only time you do it. And the only reason I did it is not for money, guys. Money, money, money's easy. If you want money, man, you can fucking deal drugs, sell drugs, do fucking open an all fans page. Do whatever you want to do. Making money's easy. Seriously, it's having the passion to go through when the times are tough, guys. When times are tough, to keep pushing. And that's the secret to success. Because success is not a linear, straight line, guys. It's a lots of ups and downs. A lot of downs, man. 
you know but as long as you take two steps forward one step back you are moving forward as long as you slowly moving forward and the reason you keep moving forward when you take that step back is because you have the passion you have a reason your family it's not the money it's not the gucci belt because if you want just a gucci belt and times are tough you're gonna quit and find something easier to do so first ask yourself do you really want to do this if you really want to do this it takes sacrifice you really want to change your life take sacrifice the fact that you're here watching me watching this old man this old overweight asian guy walk around the pond every tuesday means you want to you just needed to have a reason to pull the trigger and we just gave you the reason now guys 97 bucks i mean i don't know what else to say after this week is we're not going to do this anymore because you know we gave people chances and that's it man text toss there's other deals we have an accelerator program guys that, that that's wonderful man all the people that, that that use it like like Vic like Faye you know that's that's what helped them because there's a lot of videos to watch guys there's a lot of videos we have thousands of videos so how do you begin so we created a program that that helps do all that stuff so let's let's bring someone on Alex who should we bring on Anybody want to raise their hand? I love this segment. This is my favorite, most favorite part about the IG live walks on Tuesday is to bring on someone. Raise your hand if you want to come on. There's only limited space we're giving out, guys. So text Tosh. There's, but if it runs out, there's other, there's other packages that you can use too. So don't, you know, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll help you out. We're not going to put this on Twitter. I'm only gonna talk about this here. Oh, Mr. B. Wells. It's been a while. My man, you're walking with me. We walking today, baby. <laughs> yeah. How you sunny, doing, man? Sunny California, yay. <laughs> you done trading? <laughs> I am done, done. Good, man. Hey, so tell everybody who you are and all that good stuff. Hey, this is B. Wells, a.k.a. Short the Pop. Um, I'm so happy that I actually make this, uh, this account strictly for, like, trading and stuff and implementing all the things you guys teach at MIC. Real name's Brandon, Brandon Wellington. Everyone hasn't met me. How you doing out there? Uh, nice. Oh, I thought you said nice hassle. Yeah. Val, we're yeah. representing teams today. <laughs> okay. My team right here. Yeah, man. I'm getting my walk in today, too, for the exact same reason that you are, 1030, you know. Um things start to squeeze and you don't want to be there taking, taking more trades. <laughs> and so today was uh, vibe and VVPR for me. Um, and I just been focusing in on just pre-market broken charts. I took a loss today on vibe and that was the best loss. I took Manage manageable loss, right? Manageable loss. That's what it is, my friend. <laughs> yep. You can't win every day. Someone put uh, today uh, in uh, MIC uh, chat that um, one of the best things MIC taught me was to walk away. And I liked it. I was like, yeah, it's a great, great status to put walk away sometimes it's not always optimal to be there and sometimes you just got to walk away my, my 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 buddy here has an interesting life that not many people know because i want to <laughs> tell people like how you got trade that started trading like that's not your real profession dude you know you 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 start telling the people that you on tv or whatever and then how do you transition to this because you don't know how i started trading the truth i've never really talked about the truth on how i started trading Go for it, man. Tell people what you did before because it's a very interesting story, man. I love it. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. So, like, my last job job before acting and hosting took off for me, I was selling gym memberships at Bally Total Fitness. And they made <laughs> me decide on if I wanted to continue my career as an actor or if I wanted to be there because they were trying to promote me to be um, a, sales rep, a sales rep that would fly all around the country training all their other members on how to sell gym memberships and personal training packages. I was like, top. I was like, nah, that's not my dream. I just want to be in shape and act. And they was like, well, you're taking too much time off. So what's it going to be? And I was like, I'm going to choose my dreams. Mind you, I quit my job for like a movie I wasn't even getting paid for. And then six months later, they went out of business. And then I landed my first TV show as a host on Travel Channel. And I was like, damn, I bet on myself and it worked. <laughs> yeah, plug for Brandon. He's on the IMDB. Is that where, where you are? Is that where uh, like, yeah, IMDB is just a place to host your resume of all the things okay. that you've done. Um, but then how I got into trading, <laughs> at the time, this was like, I started off trading Forex in like 2011. <laughs> you, and, you fall for an ad or something? 
Nah, you know what? It was crazy. This was before the boom of Forex took off. And I honestly don't think it's a bad thing to trade. It just really depends on what you're doing. But what's happened now is that, like, network marketing has kind of taken over the Forex business as well, too. And now people are using it as a recruiting tool in addition to trading. And most people aren't making money trading. They're making money recruiting people into these programs. So that's kind of what's been happening with Forex. So I think it's getting a bad rap. But I do know of some people that are very successful at Forex. But it takes an incredible amount of discipline to trade forex and it does stocks because those markets are open 24 hours a day if you can't trade an hour a day and walk away what are you going to do when you're bored at 7 p.m and you can just turn on your computer oh, and go forex. trade the eight minute session the, the, the whole thing for me is it has no edge man you can trade beanie babies better than forex admit you might have a beanie baby edge so yeah. stocks like forex has no edge <laughs> yeah man but my trading journey started when acting wasn't happening for me and i was dating someone who was um it was like an interracial relationship. First one, like they were on the path to be a doctor and they, they loved me, but they couldn't justify to their parents why they were dating someone who was just selling gym memberships and their career wasn't taking off. And so like, it was one of those things where like, I, I can do other things. I promise just bear with me. I'm going to learn some new skills. <laughs> and so I got into trading. I was like, I'll just pick up this investing thing. I think it could work out. Freaking like <laughs> that's how it started. It started Dude, what? You know what? This is exactly what I told people uh, uh, earlier. You have to find a reason more than money. Your reason was to prove to her that you know what, man, I, I can do more I, than just sell. And once I started building up some capital, I started off trading. Joined us. Uh, joined a different community where I found you and Alex in back in like 2017, and I kind of had spotty success there. It wasn't really. It was like, eh, eh, I wasn't blowing up, but I wasn't glowing up either, you know? So This, this was uh, uh, before MIC, correct? Before so we MIC. Were, we were all in this other food room. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, this is before MIC. Okay. And so I always followed you guys on Twitter and IG and stuff. And then I saw you guys open your own community. And I was like, damn, I used to watch Alex, Alex and Modern Rocks watch this all the time. And I always wanted to learn from Alex because he we was like closer in age and really cool. And I was like, What's I'm going to join this I'm <laughs> I'm not cool. <laughs> well, no, me and you, we like the same age too, Val. I'm like in the middle of two extremes. I ain't quite there yet, and I ain't quite young either. So I'm like in the middle. <laughs> so I ended up joining this community mainly for the community aspect. That's what got me with MIC. I was like, dude, they're doing meetups. You actually can finally meet people that have like interests as you. You can, um, and you get a chance to put, you know, a face to a name of people who are actually telling you what to do with your hard-earned money. That's what got me with MIC was the community aspect. And I also knew that the people who were starting it also had really good trading ideas that I had followed for the last year and a half. And that's what got me into MIC. So uh, tell us your progress so far. Because there's, there's a lot of ups and downs, I keep telling you. A lot it of linear lines. Um, so it took me about three months to get profitable with MIC. Um, that's pretty started, good, though. Three months is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, three months. I started hanging in. I started in doing just um, – low-hanging fruits, which is a strategy I learned from you guys, and I was just short in day twos, and that really helped me build up my account. And then um, I think over the summer, last summer, I, I moved to Cali, and it was tough getting up at 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, doing that's, that's it. So I was trying. I was like, damn, this might be tough to be getting up every day at 4 o'clock trying to get locates because I don't go to bed till 1 a.m. So I moved to the big cap world for a little bit, and I learned a lot from Joe Kelly. And then I was kind of back and forth with big caps, back and forth. And I was like, ah, I like it, but I'm not having the success that I want. But nonetheless, the information is there in MIC to learn how to trade big caps, options, small caps, and all of that. And I was doing pretty cool for big caps for a minute. Then, <laughs> within like the last three months, I just started fixing my sleeping schedule and going to bed earlier and leaning back on small caps. It's been such an, I ain't going to say easy market, but most of the time you see these same setups and they hit over and over and over again. So I just started focusing in on short, um, just short and broken stocks and, so I call it finding your niche. You know, you find yeah. something that you're comfortable with. That's it. Some people were comfortable with large caps. Some people more comfortable with small caps. And uh, the, the main difference is you, you, you basically change your life to, to, to want to trade. Because before you're like, I'm going to go to sleep at 1 o'clock. Fuck this shit. I'm going to find something else that, you know. Bro, <laughs> I'm in bed at like 10 p.m., 9 p.m. And I'm like, who am I? <laughs> that is you are now the person that you're, you're that girlfriend wants <laughs> the funny thing the thing about moving to cali what was inspiring what kind of motivated me to do it was that obviously i'm an actor as well but we have earlier times here so when 
it's 7.30. By the time I wrap up trading, it'll never interfere with auditions or anything else. If you live in Cali and you trade and you can get up at 4 or 5 o'clock every day, you can totally have two careers that'll never intersect with oh, each other. Dude. And you know what? You don't have to trade every day. If you have an nope. audition, don't need to trade. Nope. <laughs> don't worry. I will, though. I'll be sitting right there at 6.30 <laughs> with a 9 a.m. audition. Like, if I just get out of this by 7.30, I'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it, man. That's the passion that keeps you going through the hard times, brother. <laughs> And that's why I keep trying to tell people, find the passion that, keep, that makes you want to change yourself. Because, dude, I, I, you, you know me, man. I used to have Thursday, Thursday. I work maybe two days a week. Now I'm there all the time because MIC, I, I have a passion for it, right? So I wake up, I do it. I'm in bed early every freaking night. Back, mm -hmm. in, back in the day, I, I barely show up for work because I had no passion. I lost the passion. Money is not enough. You, know? you have to have the reason to keep going. Yeah, one of the first things I learned about any business, especially even in acting, too, is that you have to have a why that's bigger than your failures. Because not, not, not everything I, I like goes that. as I like planned. That. Not everything goes as planned. But what are you going to do when things don't go as planned? Is your why strong enough to get you out of bed in the morning? Is it strong enough to keep you going when you do not see the results that you want? Is it strong enough to keep you trading? Strong enough to keep you auditioning? What is your why? And is it big enough? to get you over your failures if it's not you need a bigger why or or to help supplement your why you don't have to have all or nothing mentality that's the thing that's true you know? too because like dude i my whole thing is i love to travel i love to go out and eat that is my my main passion but you know what i need money so <laughs> so for I me the maybe... bell's why stops at the dinner table yeah. so when i look it's at it state <laughs> so, so trading may not necessarily be my main passion anymore, it, but I need to keep fucking feeding my fat ass. So I need to keep working. You <laughs> so know what, bro? <laughs> if you can find, if you can find the wherewithal to get up and trade with passion, knowing that you can get whatever meal you want at the end of the day, that's a big ass why. Even though I'm laughing, because you yeah, know, yeah. there's so many people that are food insecure that you don't really understand the power of a meal, let alone the power of a meal that you really want until you ain't got nothing to eat. So, oh, I've been there, brother. It's a basic ass necessity, this and that's is, a strong enough why. This is why we tell people all the time, man. For for me, when the re the moment I realized that, you know, like life changing is not a Lambo. It's being able to eat anything I want to eat, any time of day I want to eat, and not have to look at the price. To me, I've made it seriously. It doesn't take that much, you know. An extra couple hundred bucks supplemental income affords me a steak dinner every night if I wanted to get a steak dinner every night. That's love. And that should be applauded and celebrated, too. Now, if you don't have any food and you need food, you don't need to trade. Bal yeah. doesn't need food. He wants food. It's a big yeah. difference. If you need food, yeah. <laughs> you need to go to yoursteak.gov, okay? Yeah. <laughs> there exactly is right. But the assistance is not there in the stock market if you if you need food. But right. if you want it. <laughs> that's, that's what we tell people all that. You, you hit it right there, brother. This is not the cure-all for all your illnesses and pains in life. Absolutely you not. Get your life in order first, guys. If you do, if you can't afford ninety-seven dollars to learn, you're not going to be able to trade. I'm just telling you that right now. Having a fifty-dollar account is not going to do anything for you. Take no. that fifty dollars and feed yourself. Take that fifty dollars yeah. and, and pay for your children freaking meal you know that's yeah 50 important. bucks you're the short stack at the table you're going all in on every single play you're eventually going to not get the cards you want <laughs> like that's, correct that, that's not a good way to go but you know what man there's a lot of free educational services on our youtube channel things like that so you so it's like you may not be raised today <laughs> but you work yourself towards a goal by next year i will get there i will save money to afford to do this and so during this time you're always working like tom Tom, our moderator, has $700. When he met me, he lost his money. And I said, so you know what he did? He drove an Uber at night. He drove That's an gangster. Uber at night to get cash on top of his other jobs. He had two jobs. And learning. And learning. You know, when he was learning, he was not trading. He was just basically learning, paper trading. So he drove an Uber at night. The reason at night because he said it made more money. Uber being paid more money at night. So you, know you imagine after a couple months of Uber... He saved up a couple thousand bucks and started training. And now What's he's like making is that you said um, paper trade. You know, like so many people are anxious to jump in the market. And do you, like you really kind of have to develop confidence in these setups to even make money for them. Because you could be in a great trade with no confidence and you'll just close that shit out. And paper right. trading, 
allows you to develop the muscle memory and the repetition needed to stay in positions that you should be in and get the hell out of positions you have no business being in. But you need to see them over and over and over and over and over again. It's like, right. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. It's like, it's muscle it's memory. It's like a reflex. You have to see it. I, I yeah, call it a training like reflex. It's like sports, man. Athletics. I got like out of vibe right before the halt. I got stopped out of vibe right before the halt. <laughs> Oh, you were but, short, right? I, Ooh, but I've seen yeah. it. I've seen, I've seen the setup so many times. I said, you're about to get ran over. Close it. I closed it. No problem. I ate the loss, and then I made it all back on VVPR. Where where did you stop out? <laughs> 97 <laughs> cents. <laughs> Holy shit. It went to $1.40, cents, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, so I started scaling the 80, 80 cents, 90 cents. First off, let's just talk the truth. The truth was I had some FOMO. So I was anticipating the 75 cent breakdown to 50. I usually don't trade things under a dollar, but I did pretty good with EYPT the other day. And I was like, I need to stop being afraid of these things. If the setup is there, you take it. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what, man? That was a super stop, bro. What? You hit one forward and, and basically 50% of your account is gone. No, but the thing is, right, I got out right before the haul. You can see the chart on my page. I post my losses and my wins, so I'll keep it 100, man. I take losses, too. Bill Gates lost, like, not Bill Gates. Freaking Warren Buffett lost like two bill on a Delta deal. You scared to tell somebody you lost a hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, five hundred dollars? People lose, man. <laughs> Even the greatest investors of our time take losses. It's impossible I, to I lose the game I lose and not day, take bro. losses. So <laughs> yeah, you'll day. see you'll see the losses there too. Um, so yeah, I shared it. And it was a great stop out, and I learned this from Alex and you as well too. I don't remember, but I've seen it many of times. And you said sometimes the greatest thing I did today was stop out. Yeah. You know, like that was playing in my mind. I saw the volume surging in. And I'm like, bro, if you sit here waiting for this pop over a dollar with the pre market high at a dollar fifteen, can do you really want to be down thirty five cents? Forty <laughs> cents? Yeah, percentage wise even like, more. Percentage wise like even more. I had two point five K shares on. That's that's max size to me. So I don't trade anymore than two and a half thousand shares. That's my max size. I'm like, I'm not going down 40 cents. So I took a 10 cent stop out instead of what it would have been like a 40 cent stop out. Dude, dude, that's best, a, that's best the trade of the day, my friend. That's the trade, trade of, day. of my day. And I was like, damn. <laughs> and I was like, this is perfect. Yep. And that's what we teach, man. Risk management. You see other guys like revenge trades coming Tosh out. Tosh tell me that. Me and Tosh went out to lunch last week because he just moved his little narrow ass back to Cali, thank God. <laughs> and me and Tosh was sitting down <laughs> having uh, having tea last week. Well, no, it was coffee. It wasn't, it wasn't tea. I was, it was coffee. We wasn't doing no damn tea. No tea coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and man, man. Tosh was like, bro. <laughs> Tosh Not like, celery? Not celery shakes? Tosh likes that celery yeah. shit. <laughs> coffee black, baby. <laughs> Uh, no, nah, it was a few creamers. Um, <laughs> so, so me and Tosh was telling me flat out last week, like, um, outer lines and chill on those things that don't have range. And you said this last week, too. You were like, look, if I need 10 cents, the stock needs to move 20 cents away from where I need to cover. If I need 20 cents, it needs to go 40 cents. And yep. so, like, that's playing in my mind. So, dude, I'm short with a, with a 90 cent average. Like, I'm trying to get a 75 cover down to, like, 60. And I'm like, I need 30 yeah. cents here. There's no it way. <laughs> Yep, it is there. No meat. I call it no meat. No meat. Yeah, no meat. and I, I took the L, man. It was the best loss I took this yeah. month, too. Loved it. <laughs> All right, guys, I want to plug you. So tell people your uh, Instagram because um, Brandon here just started a new Instagram that you guys can follow about his trade. It's very, very cool. So, you know, you can follow yeah, him. Yeah, it's, um, it's this one. It's this account I'm on now. This one. Short. <laughs> short. <laughs> short to pop. Just in case I forget what I'm supposed to be doing there today. You go. I named it. So like, what am I doing pop. today? Oh, yeah, I'm shorting the pop. That's what I'm doing. Yep, yep. <laughs> Do not <And> deviate. <laughs> Do not and deviate. When you're, and when you're bored on uh, at home, nothing to watch on Netflix, what's that, the orange, the black? Orange is new black? He's on yeah, that show, too? Which, yeah, which, season, which, season, which, which episode? Season six and seven. Oh, season dude, six and seven. I did 15 episodes, so, yeah, I can't remember all of them. But... You still getting royalty checks, my friend? <laughs> Bro, I just went to the mailbox the other day, and, you know, COVID, all these offices have been closed. I went to the mailbox the other day freaking over like high five figures and like residuals i was like damn oh. god you, god, you heard right, my man. prayers hey, if, 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 if everybody starts watching you get more money let's all go watch it let's just start streaming this shit <laughs> i was like dude i was like i'm gonna need this thank wow. you wow and we just signed a new residual deals with uh sag with the sag union because obviously most more things are being streamed today than are being watched on That's cable true. TV. So residuals don't really play like <laughs> they do when you do a Netflix show, who, any, any streaming platform. But if you're on a major network, Fox, NBC, ABC, CBS, your residuals are usually higher. 
but the problem was everything was going to stream and actors were pretty much getting getting railroaded in residuals and so we just signed a new deal with the union this is stuff you guys don't care about with trading but it's there <laughs> you know what man i love hearing residuals so i mean this is this is a thing too man hit, hit him up if you have questions this is a great this is a yeah great that new so deal hit and i was like damn i voted yes for this new deal oh, too and i'm seeing the benefits of it <laughs> well, this is the this is the beauty of the community, guys. Look at me, man. I I would have never met Brandon unless of MIC. There's a lot of great people, diverse people doing different things, and this was about man meeting people with like minded. We just want to be successful, and we want to help yeah. people. That's that's what it is, man. And we keep it real too, man. It's a great community, man. I love it. Thanks for having me on today, Val. It's been a minute since I chopped it up with you, anyway. Awesome, man. Hey, thanks for coming on, guys. I'm gonna let Brandon go and uh, close us up. Hey, thanks, man. You got keep, it, man. Keep, Love keep you guys. Keep exercising, brother. I am, right. bro. I don't know how you're doing this every day. I'm getting back to it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. I need to eat. I'm fat. <laughs> we could do this every day. Listen, Val and Brandon, podcast walk talk, baby. What you want to do? B&B. &B. Do I get residuals? <laughs> no, I need to... there's no residuals. <laughs> this is for the love of the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Take All care. Right, All right. Well, that, that was great. I think we covered everything, guys. Uh, you, you, I mean, that's, that's what trading is, guys. This is, this is pr pretty much life of a day trader. Not glamorous, a lot of hard work, but the rewards are there. Text Tosh, uh, we're probably going to end this promotion soon because if the first 20 people hit, we're done. So hurry up, guys. I'll see you guys later. Until next time, guys. Oh, tomorrow. Forgot. Tomorrow, Tosh has a, a, a webinar. Make sure you attend. It's, it's basically a new member webinar, and we have two brokers that we introduce you to, Cobra and Trade Zero. So hit up Tosh for more information. Thanks, guys.